Hello students, today I would like to start the structure of the cell and in the structure of the typical cells we would like to start boundary of the cell and when we start boundary of the cell then it is of two types non-living boundary that is the cell wall and living boundary that is the cell membrane and now we would like to start cell membrane as terminological meaning of the cell membrane is very clear it is the cell and membrane because it is very thin layer below the cell wall in the plant cell and outermost boundary of the animal cells and it is so thin that is called membrane that is not called wall that is called membrane so when we would like to start cell membrane and since it is a living then the nature of the cell membrane is protoplasmic so it is also called plasma membrane or cell membrane Its nature, their differential is just starts with their physical nature. Differential is just start with their physical nature. It is the membrane which select something to pass through them. As you compare the filter of prepared tea, so as we, we would like to filter the prepared tea, then the leaf of the tea is not passing through the pores of the filter. Only beverage P is passing through them. It means that filter is only allowed to pass beverage through them, not leaf of the tea, just like the cell membrane. Cell membrane is also select to pass through them. Suppose if it is a cell membrane and there is, we consider the respiration process and here is oxygen and carbon dioxide. Then when oxygen would like to pass through them, the cell membrane allows. The cell membrane allow oxygen to pass through them, but at the same time, carbon dioxide is prevented. Carbon dioxide is prevented. It means if it is the cell membrane, then cell membrane select oxygen to pass through them, and at the same time, carbon dioxide is not selected by the cell membrane to pass through them, so it is also called selectively membrane. Or it is a semi-permeable membrane. It is not permeable. On the basis of permeability, suppose all thing is passing through them, then it is a permeable. If nothing is passed through them, it means there is no permeability. It is non-permeable. So on the basis of permeability, all the membrane is of three types. Permeable membrane, all things is passes through them. Non-permeable membrane, nothing is passes through them. And semi-permeable membrane. If something is passing through them and something at the same time is prevented, not allowed to pass through them. That membrane is called semi-permeable membrane. So the cell membrane is called semi-permeable membrane. So it is living lipoproteinous because it is made by lipid and protein. Lipoproteinous semi-permeable membrane. Semi permeable membrane, semi permeable membrane. All the terms is already clear. It is a living because protoplasmic. It is a lipoproteinous. It means it is made by lipid as well as protein, both of them constituting the cell membrane. And semi permeable membrane, semi means half. And permeable means permission or to pass through them. So it is a half permission to pass through them. So it is called semi permeable. So cell membrane is semi permeable membrane. Why it is semi permeable? Because something is to pass through them. But something is not something is not pass through them so called semi permeable membrane location below the cell wall below the cell wall in the plant cell but outermost 
in the animal cell. Composition. The composition means what is the constituent component which makes them the first phospholipid, phospholipid, and second protein. Phospholipid and protein. The constituent is some of the polysaccharide also present or HA with them. Polysaccharide attached. Attached. So it is the composition. Now, when we would like to discuss the structure, the structure of cell membrane. So when we discuss the structure of cell membrane, then there are two theories which explain the structure of cell membrane. A structure. A structure. The two theory. One is called plum pudding or fluid mosaic theory, and the other is called sandwich theory. Sandwich theory. According to plum pudding theory, the cell membrane is like this. Suppose it is the plum or Protein. Protein is behaves like a plum and phospholipid. Phospholipid like a pudding. Just you compare with the cake. In the cake, the ground material is just behaves like a phospholipid. And all the protein is embedded into the ground materials like a resins, dry fruits in the cake. The dry fruits in the cake is compared with the protein and their ground material is compared with the phospholipid. So it is the trilaminar structure of the protoplant or it is proposed by Singer and Nicholson. Singer and Nicholson. It is the most accepted theory most accepted and when we consider the sandwich theory it means there is protein outer protein there is a lower protein and in between them in between them there is phospholipid there is phospholipid so it is a phospholipid 